The Red Cobra strikes from behind. Everything he has trained to do is so that you don't see him coming. You may say this is dishonorable, but he's still just as dead. Even if you're lucky enough to get face to face, before long he'll be striking you from behind. The Arashikagi ninja faces his opponent. Whether peace can be arranged or battle is necessary, both can be obtained head on. The Arashikagi's capability to do both is what makes him so deadly. With communication comes deceit, a tool which can be used against some of the most powerful opponents. But only when necessary. The two clans have been sworn enemies for centuries. Neither is good nor evil, just playing the never-ending game of revenge. In recent times, only the clan's best fighter faces the other. No rules, no limits. Just victory achieved only one way. Death. What happens if no one wins? Peace. So enjoy it, because you may be next on the list to face the Red Cobra. Didn't you face him already, Storm Shadow? After you retired from the military. In that city. What's it called? Harukai. And yes, I faced him. Kind of. Well, I have to start from the beginning. You see... I obsessed about defeating Red Cobra. Finally, in the city of Arukai, I had a clue. Rashikagi ain't allowed in Arukai. Try and stop me. So was that it? Did you beat him? Not quite. I needed to make an example. I wanted everybody to know that I was in town. It was Outback? Quit interrupting me. Yes, it was Outback. Sixty years old now. Where was I? Oh yeah. We were heading off to Outback's place in Aruka. You see, Outback reached out to me earlier. He's the only reason I came to Aruka. He said he knew something about the Red Cobra's whereabouts. Outback and I have been friends for years. 
course. Of course, Sid. It's someone I can trust. And in times like these, trust is worth more than anything else. I still struggle with my past. How Zartan had framed me for killing our Arashikagi clan's master. I sometimes think if the same thing had happened to Snake Eyes, he'd have joined Cobra too. Park and I both have our demons. He's out back and he lives in the city. He lives in another country, for that matter. He's running from the government. He's a liability. I guess he didn't want an early retirement. How did you know? What do you mean? Well, Shudo, Dojo, a couple others actually joined the Night Creepers. Strange. Home, sweet home. Out back, your place is a mess. You got someplace better to stay? No. Make yourself comfortable. So when are you gonna tell me what I wanna know? What's your hurry? Let's watch some G.I. Joe Berg Special Forces. Come on, I want to go to bed soon. Let's just watch the rest of this episode, and then I'll tell you. Fine. Show's over. Now let's hear it. Okay, you're never gonna believe this, but Red Cobra has been meeting with the Night Creeper clan. Yeah, to negotiate some kind of unification between the two clans. And where did you get this information? Is it reliable? I overheard it myself. The two Night Creepers were talking about it yesterday. So you wait till it's dark. Go in all stealth like. And then, after you've taken care of them, you take their uniform. So that way, when you meet up with the Red Cobra, you can give them a little surprise. Sounds like it might work. We should leave first thing so we make it there by nightfall. Thanks again for your help. Hey, what's that explosion over there on the wall? Sometimes I just like standing in front. Whatever. Night Creepers, attack! But remember, Storm Shadow's inside and we need him alive. Wait a minute, no we don't. Ha <laughs> ha attack!
<clears throat> Storm Shadow, we know you're in there. Come on out or Outback dies. <clears throat> Say so. Storm Shadow, you are mine. I have trained in my whole life for this moment. Come on, Arashikage. Make the first move. Your friend is running out of time. The Red Cobra will reward me greatly when I bring him your head. Over so soon, I expected more of a challenge from the young master. What's that? A little bit of struggle? Too late, Arashikage. You're not very well liked around here, as night creepers. By the fighting style, I'd have to say yes. I don't know what's with all the new members, though. Something strange. They must have followed me into town. I actually heard Sly's join the night creepers. A couple Joes, too. Nunchuck and Bonsai. Hopefully we find some answers when we get to their hideout. One thing's for sure. This is the end of the line for the Red Cobra. Hell yeah. Hmm, new bike. And we're off. Night Creeper Hideout, here we come. <laughs> if I had only known then what I know now, things would have turned out a lot different. Territory. We should maybe take it easy until it gets a little darker, and then make our move. Sounds good. Hey, look at all those new night creepers. Something strange is going on here. I bet the red cobra's behind it. Nunchuck, once a G.I. Joe, trained under the Arashikagi and the Blind Master. Bonsai, X Joe. Rising Sun Ninja, blood brother to Bushido. Slice, Cobra Swordsman, 
Once an Arashikage student, Renegade Ninja joined Cobra, now a Night Creeper. So what's the plan, anyway? Well, once it's dark, we kill those two night creepers over there as quietly as possible, change into their uniforms, and blend in as quick as possible. There are too many ninjas here to fight them all at once, so stay silent. Do not strike until I do. The first strike will be when I kill the Red Cobra. After that, kill only who you need to to escape. Quick and quiet, like a ninja. I like it. So what are you gonna do anyway, once you've killed the Red Cobra? Need a roommate, my friend? No way. You got too many enemies, Storm Shadow. You should look that girl up. What's her name? Malie? Yes, Malie. And we'll see. Maybe. I'm sure she's moved on by now. Alright, it's dark enough. Let's move. We'll take him out at the same time. Get your knife ready. Alright, Tommy. Let's do this. Hey, look at my shadow. Come on, get over here. And remember, we strike at the same time. Alright, I got it. Nice one. Alright, let's get changed quick and try to blend in. I like it. Okay, let's get into position. We should blend in fine now. Alright, you lead the way, Tommy. I'm right behind you. Now remember, follow my lead. Don't attack anyone until I've killed the Red Cobra. Then we escape, and remember, there's too many to fight at once, so we have to get out of here fast. Look, we're creeping in the night. Alright, blend in. What's up? We're almost there. I want you in charge of things, Jinx. And remember what I told you. Never show your weak side. And be tough on these night creepers. There he is. I can't believe it. I've waited so... Hey, wait a minute. That's my cousin. What's going on here? Ah, oh, no. He's got Kimmy, too. Must be some kind of brainwashing. Ninja mind tricks. That would explain all the new members to the Night Creeper clan. Killing the Red Cobra may just free them from whatever hypnosis they're under. Which could help none, Chuck. Bonsai, your cousin Jinx. Sure take care of the Night Creepers in an awful hurry, helping everyone. Night Creepers, I have something to attend to inside. I will be right back with your missions for the week. Be ready when I return. I am in a hurry. Some of us have more to do than others. I'm Jinx. You're in charge, so keep an eye on things while I'm inside. 
Hello, Melly. Creeper, and you are my master. Now say it again. Look into my eyes. Look deep into my eyes. I am a night creeper, and you are my master. Say it. I am a night creeper. And you are my master. Now there's something I'd like you to do for me. <laughs> I will obey, master. Hey, look. There, he's back again. Now's my chance. I have waited a lifetime for this, prepared to die at the hands of Storm Shadow of the Arashikagi clan. There was something strange about that scream. It sounded familiar, but not the Red Cobra. No, maybe. No, you're all gonna pay. Night Creepers, we have an intruder. Get him. Eat lead. <laughs> Storm Shadow, come back. Where are you going? Step out of cover, traitor, and I'll make this quick. Jinx, it's me, Outback. You've been brainwashed. Try and snap out of it. This isn't who you are. Try to remember your old self.
Why'd you take off like that? I couldn't kill Jinx. I left Outback with the choice. It wasn't right. I even thought maybe Outback couldn't do it and Jinx killed him. It was wrong what I did, but I was so confused after killing the Lee. I was hoping maybe Jinx would snap out of it, but I heard the gunshot. She must have killed him. It was my fault. I was so confused. Confused? You were never really there for Malie now anyway, from what you've told me. Maybe someone else would have loved her, if you hadn't strung her along. She was always too interested in you. I never strung. It's, it's complicated. Why do you care? Un unless... You're the Red Cobra? Look into my eyes, Storm Shadow. I've overcame Cobra's brainwashing. Now it doesn't work on me. Then there's only one thing left to do, Tommy. shoot this one in the leg. Took a couple months to get her over the brainwashing, but she's coming around. Then I guess everything turned out great. But you guys got a hotel, right? Because you're not staying here. What's the matter, Stormy? You don't want a roommate anymore? Come on, Tommy. You've got room. So ends the tale of two ninjas with the Arashikagi clan victorious. You could say the Red Cobra may have won if my friends had not interfered, but there are no rules in this battle, and friendship is something the Arashikagi embraces, not the Red Cobra. So remember, if you follow the path of deceit and dishonesty, you may think you have the upper hand, but you can never count on everything. Ah!